hi it's Emily and welcome back to my YouTube channel if you are just joining for the first time I work full-time in a corporate job about 40 hours a week and I sell on Poshmark as my side hustle in my free time a few weeks back I went to Nashville Tennessee for the business boutique conference and I did a whole video on that I'll link that down below but while I was there I took the opportunity to go thrifting with a few of my friends in the Nashville area and I wanted to spend this thrifty Thursday showing you all what I got let me see if I can pick up the suitcase that I brought home from Nashville with all of my thrifted items I got about 17 things and oh my gosh it's still pretty heavy I picked this suitcase up while I was at one of the thrift stores because it got so much stuff uh, for $4 and put all of my thrifted finds that are behind me in the suitcase and brought it back to Wichita. Full transparency, I will be taking the suitcase right back to the thrift store after this video, but I thought it served its purpose in bringing everything home. I'm gonna do this haul just a little bit differently this time. I've got the rack of clothes you can see behind me that I will show you. Rather than showing each piece, I'm just gonna go through it on the camera. And then I have a white poster board with a white fuzzy rug with the shoes on it that I'm gonna show you. It should go pretty quick at 17 items, but I figure that might be better so you can see like more detail of the actual item and then also the tag, because I think it's great to see different tags of clothing in case you ever find that brand in the future. So without further ado, let's get started. The first piece is a Patagonia jacket, and I believe it is a little girl size 14 or 16. It's like a maroon color, but doesn't have the size tag. I can't seem to find it in there. So what I'm gonna do is just measure it, and then I will put the measurements and the size I think it is in the description. The reason I knew it was Patagonia is because it has this logo here at the bottom. So definitely be checking out the thrift store because if you find something that's great quality but may not have a tag, you may be able to find a label like this Patagonia one. This next jacket is also Patagonia and this is a pretty significant piece so I was surprised to find this. This is a men's button up jacket and it's also a fleece material. There's the tag there. But I really like this pattern. I think it'll do really, really well, especially with winter just around the corner and I just think somebody will love this. I was excited to find this honestly because I do not tend to find this stuff in my area. The next item I was also surprised to find because I usually don't find this type of thing at the thrift stores in my area, but this is a J. Crew black quilted jacket and it's got the gold buttons down the front. Let me show you the tag. This is one of the newer J. Crew tags. It's actually a really big tag. I don't know if they just put this on their jackets, but I've seen it a few times now. And there is a little bit of wear on the quilting, but I do think it'll still sell. You can see some stuffings coming out there, but I think it'll still sell. It's still a great piece. I was excited to find this next piece. This is a LuLaRoe Sarah cardigan, and it's actually new with tags. So there's the LuLaRoe label, which I'm sure you all have all seen before. And then let me show you the tag here. Size extra large, which is a great size for LuLaRoe. And you can see here it says it's the Sarah Cardigan, which is actually a really nice thing about the LuLaRoe Nuba Tax pieces is that you can tell what type of item it is. I am obsessed with this blazer. It is so cute. This is a J. Crew, like almost pink gingham blazer, and it's got the one button front. Obviously, you guys have seen the J. Crew label, but I just want to show it. This is the newer tag. It does have these pen marks throughout, but as you can see when I was farther away, you just really can't even see that. So I went ahead and got it. I didn't pay that much for it and I figured somebody would want it. This next item, I was just really surprised to find this. I've never found this brand before or never even heard of this brand before. It's a pretty expensive brand retail and I don't know if they make it anymore. It's called Nina McLemore. If you know more about this brand, definitely let me know down below. But here's a tip for you when you're at the thrift store. Hopefully this will show up. But if you see that the lining of an item is 100% silk, it is worth more investigation. Obviously with this item, the lining has been pulled out. However, it is still a wonderful piece and I think it'll go for 30 or $40, maybe a little bit more and it retailed for around $800. So obviously not nearly as much as it retailed for, but I got it for good price and I figured it was worth trying out. The next two pieces are both jeans. This is a pair of cabby, new tag cabby distressed jeans. There's the tag there. And I figured this was worth getting because they've got the distression marks on them. And it's also, if you can see here, it says it's a slim boyfriend jean, 
which is really in style right now and I think they'll do well. This next pair of jeans I was also really excited to find. The brand is called a Gold Egg, I think, or a Gold, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But my friend Ashley told me this is actually a Citizens for Humanity brand, Citizens of Humanity. It's part of that brand and there's a tag. Looks like these retail for quite a bit. They have a tiny bit of wear, a little, little bit of pilling on the front, but I still think they will do well. This is the item I was most excited to find. It is a Maeve by Anthropology orange and maroon and white floral skirt. And I just love this. I think it would just be great for about anything. Let me show you the tag. I'm sure most of you had seen it. This is the second to newest Maeve tag. The newest one says Maeve for Anthropology. I've seen it over on Instagram, but I haven't thrifted it yet. I just think this is a great skirt for work, for anything very versatile and will be a really cute piece for anybody to wear this fall. This last piece is just a basic theory skirt with a little silver shimmer to it. Let me show you this tag. This is the older theory tag, but I still think this is a great basic and I didn't pay very much for it. I feel like somebody would love this for work and so I went ahead and picked it up. Moving on to shoes, this is a pair of Sam Edelman sandals and even though it is fall, I think somebody could wear this on a vacation or if they live in a warmer climate. It's got this gorgeous silver heel and if I turn them over, they are just in fantastic shape. So I was excited to find these. These are a pair of Steve Madden Charlie heels and you can see it's got a nice chunky heel here with this great tassel detail on the front and if I turn them over, they're just in excellent shape. And I'm going to show you guys the Steve Madden logo. Honestly, I feel like it's an underrated brand. I just sold a pair of boots in this brand and granted they were in great shape, but I just sold them on Poshmark the other day for $50. So definitely don't sleep on this brand. It still has value. You just have to find the right pieces. This brand I've never found before or heard of to be completely honest. This brand is called Biela or Biela. Correct me if I'm wrong there again, but they are just a great brown leather material and it's just got a little bit of a heel here. I feel like this would just be perfect for work and you can see on the bottom, they still have a lot of life left, a great leather material and I could see somebody like in New York walking the streets in these, they're just so classy. Bread and butter with this brand. These are a pair of Dansko nursing clogs and I have talked about these on my Instagram at Emily H. Munn quite a few times, but I love these. They are just a great seller if you can find them in good shape. See here, the heel is in great shape and I also always check the soles to make sure there's not too much wear. I always pick up dance goes if they're in good shape and they seem to do really, really well for me, particularly these nursing clogs. I've stopped kind of picking up their other items. Moving on to flats. This is a pair of Rowan flats and I have never heard of this brand before, but they seem like they'll do pretty well. They actually kind of remind me of the Valentino Rockstead flats. So here's the label. It looks like these are sold at Anthropology, And although they have a little bit of wear, I think they're still in great shape and they will do well on Poshmark. If you haven't heard of this brand, I would highly recommend picking it up if you find it at the thrift store. This is called AGL and I know some of the label is worn off, but they make very expensive flats. And I do think these will do well on Poshmark. I think I have a pair listed right now that hasn't sold yet. These are not in the best shape ever, but I did not pay very much at all for them. And I think somebody could easily buy them on Poshmark and get them resold. This is a pair of fry flats and they have a bit of a pointed toe. They're definitely all black leather. And let me show you the label on the side. It's not super distinct, so I bet other people miss them, but I just felt the good quality and decided to go ahead and pick them up. This was probably honestly one of my favorite finds from the Nashville haul. This is a pair of like a mustard yellow leather penny loafer in the brand. This is one of my favorites to sell. It's called Bed Stew and it has a pretty darn good following and they're also great quality. The last time I sold this brand, I think I sold the pair of boots for around $75. So I was really excited to find these. I think they'll do well and Bed Stew is just a great brand in general. That's it for my Thrifty Thursdays haul, Nashville edition. 
and let me know which item was your favorite. I will get all of these items up for sale in my Poshmark closet before I post this video. This time I'm gonna just do a link to my Poshmark closet rather than each a link to each individual item. So if you go to my Poshmark closet and let's say you wanted one of the Patagonia jackets, just filter by the brand Patagonia and it will pull up there as long as it's available. Also, I am so curious when you guys go thrifting in different areas, what is your favorite city to thrift in out of town or what's the favorite city that you've thrifted in? I'm just really interested in that. I'm actually going to Denver next weekend and there's like a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I keep touching my face. Um, I'm actually going to Denver next weekend and hoping to do some thrifting there because that's a very fun area to thrift and hopefully I find some great things. And I almost forgot, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will try to do more hauls in the future. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm just trying to get through my death pile and then I'll try to do just a weekly haul of whatever I pick up during the week. Also, please hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second and I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed the haul. Bye. Also, just so you know, this blazer I'm wearing in this video, I got for $4 at the thrift store last week and the brand is called Zahari, but it's very stretchy and perfect for work. And this t-shirt as well, the top white one, I got at the thrift store a few months ago. It's Everlane and just a great piece. So definitely look for things like this. You can find them at the thrift store for a great price. You don't have to pay a lot to look really stylish.